time for me to do what I need to do for myself. Yes, because me helping other people is never enough. Right. It's never enough. No matter what you do, they can still say that you haven't done anything. Mm -hmm. And you have missed out on a lot of time mm -hmm. and energy to help them and their business. Mm -hmm. And you haven't accomplished anything for yourself. And that's the that's the unfortunate reality for a lot of people in this country. Exactly, exactly. So it's it's good to that's why I, um, my show "Living Your Dreams with Rose Zeta." I try to encourage people to follow your dreams. Don't get in a relationship to where it's people trying to talk you out mm -hmm. of what you're doing. Don't get in a business thing with with somebody and they try to talk you out of focusing on yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, don't work at a job and they won't give you the opportunity. That job is not giving you the time or the opportunity to focus on yourself and to follow your dreams and stuff. You need to figure out what makes you happy. Mm. And if um, flipping burgers make you happy, then why not open up a restaurant? Thank you. Flip your own burgers. Thank you. <laughs> what I'm saying. Or coach somebody to flip some burgers, but it's hey, yours. Thank you. And uh, don't just be content. My daddy always told mm. me, don't settle. Mm. He said, you set a goal, you reach it. Mm -hmm. You set a higher goal, you reach that one. There you you go. set a higher goal. He said, never settle, Rosita. You know, when well, he called me Zita, he said, never settle, Zita. Mm. You always set a goal, you reach that, you set a higher one. You know, so that's what I always did all my life and stuff. You know, so I day. encourage everyone to do that. Set a goal, reach it. Set a high you go. Hey. Set another go. Reach go. That, set a high you go. You know, and every time you reach that goal that you set, mm -hmm. then you set a high you go to go even higher. Never settle to the point to where it's just you're content with just being okay and you're not happy with what Thank you're you. doing. Thank you. You know, yeah. if you're happy, then that's fine. Right. But if you're not happy, you go in levels. Go in levels till you get to where you really want to be. Yeah. yeah. But you know, some people, they, you know, they get comfortable where they are. And mm -hmm. it's unfortunate. You know, some of the most talented people that I've ever met, some of the most gifted people that I've ever met, they, they, they suppress their talents because they're comfortable with where they are in life. Okay. They're like, well, I drive a car, I have a house. I live in a decent neighborhood, mm -hmm. even though I can elevate way up here mm -hmm. if I utilize my gifts and my talents, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm happy right here, so I'm mm -hmm. going to suppress my gifts and my talents because I'm comfortable. Do you exactly. understand comfortable is the, the exact opposite of success? Exactly. It's not failure because you have to fail in order to get success. Mm -hmm. Being but comfortable and satisfied. If you're satisfied, then you'll never be successful. Yeah. Yeah. And that make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah. I know I talk a lot. My bad. No, that's okay. <laughs> I, I like people that talk a lot. <laughs> we can talk a lot together. No doubt. <laughs> yeah. Shoot, that's always a good thing. You know, a person that loves to talk, yeah. We can you know, go on and on. We teacher, can have it's like a sermon around here. You know? uh, look, I'm a teacher, man. I love to teach teach people exactly. about elevation. Exactly. That's what it's about, man. Exactly. You know, we, we 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 black folk. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I love everybody, but mm -hmm. we're we're special people. We've gone through some of the most crazy hardships in this country alone. Mm -hmm. And to be where we are right now, even though we got a long way to go. But we sure as heck has come a long yeah. way. Yeah, we climb mountains. Come on, man. On come on, man. <laughs> so, so, and this yeah. is, if we come together and pool our talents and pool our resources, mm -hmm. we'll be unstoppable. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so much, it's so much division being bred into our communities. That, that light, dark skin bull crap, that's insane division. Exactly. That, that's pointless. All that stuff that, oh, I'm black, you Puerto Rican, you cute. Forget all that. We in the same boat. Mm -hmm. We all in the same boat. Mm -hmm. That division, all that nonsense, leave that alone. Come together. Work together. Find your gifts. Find your talents. 
Compliment other people who can compliment your talents. Pool it. Make it a business. Boom. Blow it up. It's and protect great. yourself from the evil of people that may want to see you go uh-huh. down. Protect uh-huh. yourself. So, mm-hmm. you know, that's a little tidbit from the band. You know what I mean? <laughs> now. <laughs> right. <laughs> But that's that's real talk, mm-hmm. though. That's real talk, you know. So, and I appreciate you giving that advice. So, anything else that you want to mention about your business? I mean, the only thing, the last thing I want to give to everybody who's watching is, I, I am a representative of my business. Mm-hmm. My business is not the representative of me. Mm-hmm. Which, and I say that meaning that when when you come to sit with me. I'm going to give you my heart, I'm going to give you my mind, mm-hmm. I'm going to give you my spirit, my energy, I'm going to focus all of my efforts on helping you elevate and uplift yourself. I'm going to make sure that I listen to you and I really understand what you really want to accomplish and I'm going to help you see a bigger and better version of what you are thinking, mm-hmm. if I can. So I my business is my conduit to help me help you really see and really live the life that you deserve to live. So, and that's it. You know, I can talk about finance and all that stuff. That's great. But I'm, you know, like Oprah says, it's that spirit to spirit connection is what I look for when I, when I sit with somebody. I mentioned that today on my live. That spirit connection. So, yeah. and, and, and I'm, I'm somebody who lived a, a challenging life. You know, uh-huh. I, I didn't grow up with a silver spoon. I lived in a hood. I was homeless. I, I, I was all of this stuff. So uh-huh. I can relate to people who had challenges in life. And I can say, look, if you, if you slide this way, you slide that way, we can navigate through this. We can get through this and we can make some things happen.